Let's do a calculation where we estimate the enthalpy of a chemical reaction using bond enthalpies. So the reaction of the formation of benzene from 3 moles of acetylene. Now when we do these, we're going to use bond enthalpies. So we'll think of all the bonds that are broken and all the bonds that are formed. So the bonds that are broken in the chemical reaction would be all the bonds in the acetylene. And all the bonds formed would be all the bonds in the benzene. So the acetylene is C2H2 with a triple bonded carbon. The benzene is this ring structure with alternating double and single bonds. So I have to break three moles of carbon-carbon double bonds because I'm going to react three moles of acetylene. I have to break six moles of carbon-hydrogen bonds because there's two carbon-hydrogen bonds in each acetylene. I'm going to form six moles of carbon-hydrogen bonds in benzene. So those are a wash. I'll put in energy, but I'll get back that same amount of energy. And this is one of the strengths of using bond enthalpies to estimate chemical reactions. Very frequently in chemical reactions, it's only one or two bonds that are really changing. So if you know a few bond energies, you can calculate the enthalpy for a lot of reactions just because a simple chemical reaction occurs. In this case, I have alternating double and single bonds. And depending on which table you look at, you might find a delocalized carbon-carbon bond. But that's not very common. I actually just remember the double and single bonds. But if your table has a delocalized, as we know benzene is, carbon-carbon bond, you could use that. So my bond energies, the triple bond for carbon, 837 kilojoules, and I have three moles of those. My carbon-carbon double and single bond, which I just remember, are 612, three moles of those, and 348, three moles of those. I have to break all these bonds. That's an endothermic step. I put energy in. The amount of energy I have to put in, 2,511 kilojoules. The energy I get out, that is the energy that comes back when the bonds are formed, are the sum of these bonds, 2,880. So I put in 2,500, I get back 2,900. So a net of around 400, 369 kilojoules are released when this chemical reaction occurs. So just by knowing a few bond enthalpies, I can calculate enthalpies for a wide variety of chemical reactions.